Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod. And in front of us here, you can see a Romulan Bird of Prey ready for battle. That's because the battle we have set up here right now is eight Romulan Birds of Prey from the original series, the same ones you saw in um, Balance of Terror, the original series episode. One of my favorites, actually. Um, we have eight of those against eight Dominion Jem'Hadar attack fighters because one of you in the comments section wanted to see Jem'Hadar fighters, or rather Dominion fighters, go up against Romulan Birds of Prey, and I think that's a fantastic idea because I know it's going to probably end terribly, but it'll be very, very neat to see. Typically, when I set up battles on even footing or relatively even footing, I tend to win pretty easily because Star Trek Legacy in these custom battles likes to make the AI extremely easy. But when I fight enemies that are of a more advanced technology level than myself, that's when things get interesting. And this is one of those battles where things hopefully will get interesting. Um, I am not going to refit my ship in any way. I think just the regular default Romulan Bird of Prey is fine. Look at this thing. And actually, I, I like this model a lot. Um, you don't really see that much detail in the original series episode, but you can see all the windows here, the torpedo tubes. It just looks very well done. And I love the Bassard collectors, the rotations, or rather the, the rotation on the front. The same effect that you see on the original series Enterprise. And uh, you got the impulse engines in the back, lining that uh, downward facing arc. Very cool stuff. Okay, I'm gonna engage. I like the look of the Romulan Bird of Prey a lot. Alright. Ultimate Universe versus Battle. We are at the map Breakwater versus. I don't believe I've ever used it before. Commander, sensors show enemy vessel. There we go, there's our ship. Look at those lights around the midsection. Oh, very cool. Where's the rest of our fleet? They are in hiding. Ooh, we have the painted bird on the underside. Painted like a bird of prey. Ah, uh, there they are. There they are. We have the Pola, the Bracken, the Tovarik, the Strato, the Vrenek, the Solus, and Pisanius. Pisanius? Pisanius. And to battle we go. Listen to those engines if, if you can. Oh, it sounds so cool. We are totally going to explode. I'm pretty sure. But it'll be awesome. <clears throat> Currently in our sights is the Jem'Hadar Attack Fighter Gamma 4 closing. Uh, they're going 232 megameters per second. We're going 205, so they're actually faster than we are. I don't know how far their weapons range is, but it probably is much longer than my own. I could cloak... I will cloak. <laughs> oh, no, they already took out my shields. Fortunately, only two of their torpedoes are locking on. I'm going to prepare my shields. Opening fire. Look at that. Very cool. How are we doing? A lot of torpedoes coming in on that ship. Excellent hit. Excellent hit on Gamma 4. Look at that. We're tearing it to pieces. Let's warp, try to get some distance, mobilize our fleet. All of my ships are chasing me. So if I keep moving, they'll keep moving, and hopefully they won't explode in some kind of catastrophic chain reaction. Come on, give me a target. Oh my goodness, port in a cell. No longer exists. Let's cloak if we can. Oh my gosh. And the battle continues. Look at those disruptor beams. Oh, that was close. Let's decloak, try to target something. Let's go for, ah, Gamma 31. We are in trouble. If they shoot us, we are done. They probably will. They probably will shoot us. Although I've noticed at close range, these ships like to use their torpedoes a lot more than their disruptors. Excellent hits there. Direct hits. Direct hits, I should say. Battle continues.
You know, I really thought we'd be in a lot more trouble than we are. Those might be my famous last words. Ooh, nice deflection there by the deflector shields. That's what they're there for. I have to briefly warp out and warp back in. We are losing that turning battle. Unfortunately, since we've gained this distance, that means that the enemy will be more willing to use their energy weapons. As you see. There we go. Two torpedoes out. One of them's going to connect. Oh, let's try. Try to repair our hull. Something's exploding. Another Jemadar ship down. You know, we might just win this. Direct hit to enemy sensors. They're really having a bad time. Direct One more hit to, to the game. Yep, there we go. Destroyed. Who knew? Original series Romulans could take out next generation Jem'Hadar. Who knew? I did not. I fully expected this to go terribly. Bracken's in trouble. Everyone else seems to be relatively okay. Let's mark our next target here. Our hull is actually being repaired. I'm shocked. Solid hits there. Those plasma torpedoes really do quite a bit of damage. Direct hit to, Direct enemy, hit engines. to enemy engines. I like watching the thing fire. Oh, that's so cool. One thing I love about Star Trek Legacy, even though it's an old game and it's buggy and the graphics sometimes completely shut down, I like the way the damage looks. Look at that scarring. Very Star Trek-y. Good hit there. Yep, I was right. And another ship gone. They only have, what, three more ships. Three more. Let's get some distance. Let's. Uh, I want to see some more uh, energy weapon fire. So let's uh, kick our warp engines on for a second, come around. That could have been a mistake, actually, on my part, but it's good to get away from the explosion anyway. Look at our fleet coming around for another attack. The Jemadar thought they could come back in time and take us out, and they were mildly correct. Let's get out of there. Please get out of there. Okay, we have some limited success in the part of our escape. Let's uh, attack this ship. No, 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 let's take on the white. There actually was a chain reaction there, and that could serve a purpose. Come on, torpedoes, good hits, two hits. Excellent, 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 come on. Two more hits. Let's try to repair the weapons if we can. We can stop repairing the hull, it's no longer needed. Let's divert power to weapons, kind of. About to be another kill. Target there we go. Lost. Target neutralized. How many left? We've got two. Two versus three. My game froze there for a brief second. No, it's two... Three versus one. I can count. This is fine. Torpedoes are away. Yeah, I'll take your Polaron beams and I'll raise you a disruptor. Commander, sensors report enemy engine disabled. Oh, they are adrift. No mercy. Nice hit from the aft launcher. They are pretty much dead in space. Look at that. <laughs> we can just sit back, relax, and obliterate them. Don't do that. Don't shoot my ships. I think we need bigger prey. <laughs> Target neutralized. Target neutralized. Order received. Let's head home. That was exceptionally awesome.
I am shocked. That battle took just under eight minutes. We lost, well, we lost more than no ships. We lost most of our fleet, but not all of our fleet. The original series, Birds of Prey, were able to take out next generation era Dominion fighters. That is phenomenal. And it was actually a lot of fun. I loved the, the damage effects, um, the exchange of weapons fire going back and forth, the explosions, the chain reactions. It actually, and it actually went in my favor. That was something that I had not expected. I tried the battle a little bit earlier off recording and it seemed that the Jem'Hadar were going to win no problem. And that was completely wrong. So if you guys enjoy this battle between the Romulans and the Dominion, then please be sure to leave this video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well then please subscribe because there's always more Star Trek legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy this video, I do apologize for that. And I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when you watch them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, well then feel free to leave those comments in the comment section regarding that, and I will read through all of your various suggestions and ideas, and I will do my best to use your recommendations in my future videos. Again, I thought this was a phenomenal battle. If you guys want to see more Romulans versus Dominion, let me know. I think it could be an interesting storyline. Dominion, come back in time to dominate the Alpha Quadrant. Hmm. Well, I think that is all I have to say here. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta. I hope that you guys are all having a phenomenally, fantastically wonderful day. And I will see you next time. <laughs>